Everybody's heard the term cloud, and uh, that's essentially what the Mana Clarity program is, is centered around the, the pedagogy and the textbook learning changes to students using netbooks, Chromebooks, and their work being housed or accessed uh, inside the cloud, which is on and accessible through the internet. That's a significant shift from the days when students worked on files and saved them locally on servers that were inside the school. So there's several things that change in that shift. Um, first off is the server that's required inside the school that really only has administration importance. It's used for staff and administrators to store things locally that are relative, relevant to the school and even applications that are used uh, for managing students and other things and, and printing. And a lot of those things can actually be done in the cloud as well. So the size of servers that schools need are very small now and relatively inexpensive. The move to the cloud changes a range of things in between the, the Chromebook or Netbook and the actual cloud itself, moreover that network. So the network becomes incredibly important and we like to think of it as the highway. So if, if students are travelling to the cloud and that highway is too small, then the number of them getting on it will mean that they will travel slowly. If it's broken or inefficient in any way, then they just won't get to the cloud. So a lot of our work is making sure that through the audits and through the upgrades, whatever uh, is required to get that highway to the point where people can travel over it properly and if something goes wrong that it's fixed rapidly uh, but as schools go through the journey of increasing the use of these devices that we make sure that the, the program for maintaining that highway as they roll out their, um, their netbooks and Chromebooks is in place so that we don't end up with bottlenecks later at some point in time.